Today we're checking out portfolio builders right here in Figma. Some of you might remember that I had introduced a website builder in Figma a while back. Now this is kind of like that, but for portfolios. So without further ado, let's just get started with the video. All right, so the first one is called Design Portfolio Template by Bowtide Designer. Now each screen is divided into templates and components. So you'll find various variations of the same kind of screen. And each screen is auto layout friendly as well as is easy to drag and drop. Now for a quick drag and drop tip, just click on com Command Shift K or Control Shift K on your keyboard, select two to three images or more. And here you can just drop into any of these artboards and you'll get your images inside any frame or any artboard right here. If I click on this little square or diamond on the right, it'll take me to the parent component. So I can just change the design from here and the same changes will be made to all the components that we had earlier. See, quick and easy to edit. The next one is a portfolio template by Anima. And this is where it gets interesting. Now, as you can see, the portfolio template is extremely good to look at. It has all these cool artifacts, visuals, images, and placeholders where you can place your assets and designs. Now, each of these are pre-saved components as well as auto layout friendly. Apart from that, this is made fully responsive. We have a mobile version right here, as well as a web version with a lot of different variations. So variations for hero section, variation for uh, feature section, variation for latest work section. So different variations for the same type of content which you can choose from. Choice is always fun. Apart from that, if you use this template to design, the Anima plugin in the Figma community can instantly convert these projects or this design into an actual fully responsive website. All you need to do is get the Figma plugin and then click on the artboard you want to export and just say export as a project and you'll find a web project created for you. Apart from that, you get a free domain which you can share or you can import your existing or paid domain that you had paid for. This is a complete portfolio builder. You get the designs, you get the responsiveness, as well as you get the website where you can host your portfolio. And don't worry, they have a step-by-step -step on how to set up your website right here in this template. The next one I was super inspired by. El Alfredo has created a portfolio template which is crazy good. Number one, it's very in terms with the current trends, the whole new brutalism trend, which is going on with Web3 and crypto and stuff like that. So if you're into that aesthetic, that neo brutalism or the, that dark with the deep color aesthetic, this is the one for you. As you can see, the entire design is super simple and super easy to understand. The, I love the type he has used goes completely with the theme as well as love the doodles that he has played around with. The gradients, the stickers, the little artifacts go perfectly with the portfolio. And of course he's used auto layout and other good things. So you can just replace your images with his stuff. I love that this layout is both website friendly as well as PDF friendly. And a quick fun fact for you guys, if you export this as a PDF, and it has links in it for your other work or social media, the PDF will retain the links. So you can always create a portfolio like that as well. Now, each of these has been divided into different components. So you have a complete design library for your, I love these sticker designs and these little artifacts that he has posted shows a lot of character in the portfolio. And this is something that a lot of recruiters look for is character, something different, something unique. We all love dribble. I love dribble. This is a 52 dribble portfolio mock-up template. So 52 different ways to display your portfolio or designs on dribble. Now, what I really like is that the designer has taken care of both web as well as mobile. So if you're showcasing a website, you have something for that. If you're showcasing a mobile screen, you have something for that as well. Apart from that, you also have a lot of mock-ups included. So things like this mobile little mobile frame, which fits perfectly with the theme. UX case study presentation deck by, by Alexandra Benton. She's mentioned my channel on her Instagram. So shout out to her Instagram. She has a lot of cool resources. Now this resource that he, she's created is first of all, free of cost. Might I say this is one of the cleanest templates or resources for case studies I've seen out there. So if you're building a case study, which a lot of you guys keep on doing, 
this is the one to get. Image placeholders, you can place your images in screens. This has research and documentation placeholders. So you can, you just need to replace text and information and everything else is ready there for you. You even have persona decks, brainstorming solutions, etc. So everything again is ready for you and you just need to replace things there. He's also given an explanation on how to present this on Behance or any other platform. So that's a that's another added bonus of this pack. So if you want something for Behance, this is there. Otherwise, if you want to create a presentation of your case study for your current office for or for showcasing it to a stakeholder. This is also a great asset. So this next one is super impressive. This is UX case study template by Kailash and Mohammed. And the best part about this is it's truly a builder for case studies. Now, of course, you have all the good documentation up front. Apart from that, there is something called blocks. So they have created variations of certain assets in these really cool auto layout enabled blocks. So again, you can add and replace information and the design will stay the same. I think the designs are really neat, really clean. I won't say out of the world, but it has all the assets you need displayed in a clean format. You have task maps, you have task flows, you have, you have matrices, you have analysis, all displayed in different formats for you. So it's not the boring old format. This is something unique, easy to you. You even have things to display, things like sketches. So you'll have these nice little iPhones ready for you where you can just put your wireframes. Apart from that, they have great user persona, root cause analysis, unique features. So you can build a website with this or you can even build a case study with. Now the next one is by an actual company, the LBB app UI UX case study, which they've made public so that people can either use their assets or check out their case study. First of all, you have all the basics where they've actually defined how they design some things and what their design really means. But this is not what we are looking for. They have a presentation deck. So again, you can present your case study in a nice minimal format with this, like this. They have templates for thumbnails, they have templates for the actual process, etc. cetera. All right, so the next one is super useful if you guys have created a nice research project or you've done some research and you wanna display it as a case study or portfolio. Now this UX research case study template is perfect for researchers out there. And I love the fact that the designer has explained how to display things and what to display there as well. So if you're looking to learn how to document as well as learn how to do UX research, this could be helpful. So here you would know what to display and why it's being displayed. Now it has insights, backgrounds, goals, titles of the project, as well as some examples he's created using these templates. Love this man. So you can pick up from how he's done stuff as well as showcase things which are important to recruiters, important to the companies, etc. Now each of this is actually divided into components. So if you wanna build something on your own from scratch, you can just pick up these components as building blocks and take it from there. Now, if you wanna see a website builder inside Figma, which could be useful for portfolio building and case study building as well, then go check out of this video on the screen that I've posted. Make sure you subscribe to the channel before you leave this video, as well as hit the thumbs up if you liked it and if you found it useful. Also, comment down any other resources that you have. I will see you next time, same place, same time. Till next time, take care. God bless.